In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Uh, what a beautiful place to celebrate Mass here in Pike Hill. Um, this is the Shinnok River, I was told. Uh, this is a hidden away place. A place where in the 16th and 17th century, priests celebrated Mass on the run, in secrecy. Where small groups of people gathered um, to worship Jesus Christ. It's strange that in 2021, Mass publicly now is forbidden. We're living in strange times, not just with the pandemic, but with, with the world in general. Today, I'm praying for the renewal of the faith of the Irish people, and I'm praying through the intercession of the Irish martyrs, men and women who gave their lives for the faith, many priests, perhaps priests who celebrated Mass on this Mass Rock, lost their lives simply because they worshipped the one true God, Jesus Christ. Tonight, today, I'd like to offer up my Mass for all your intentions, for all of you joining here live uh, via Zoom. Uh, we pray for all your intentions. We pray especially for those who are sick, those who are going through trouble times at this time. We pray for all your intentions. So we begin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now I invite Mark Moriarty, our uh, seminarian for the diocese, to read the first reading. Of some of these animals and some of these 
avoid being and he will lose out his life. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch where they summoned the whole community and delivered the letter. The community read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. I will, I will thank, thank you, Lord, Lord among, among the, the peoples. peoples. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will, I will thank, thank you, Lord, Lord among, among the peoples. The peoples. Alleluia, alleluia. The sheep who belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I shall not call you servants anymore because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is spectacular. Um, I know the old saying is, I wish you were here. And I wish, all, I wish you could experience what I'm experiencing here now. Uh, the flowing water in the Chinook River, the birds are singing. Uh, it, it's just flat calm, other than that, it's just really, really beautiful. Um, so today we, we thank God for our faith. We thank God for everything that God has given us. And in our gospel today, and I must say personally, I always found this gospel a bit strange because Jesus says, if you do what I command you, you are my friends. And I'm saying, can you command someone to love you? You know, people might come to me in confession and someone might say, you know, you will love me if you do this or if you do that. And I'm saying, that's not love, that's coercion. So why does Jesus say, you are my friends if you do what I command you? And Pope Benedict XVI, Pope Benedict Emeritus, he, he said in his encyclical, God is love. And he explains this piece of scripture. And he said, the love that God is, is talking about, the love that Jesus is talking about, is not the sentimental love that, that we have humanly. You, but you can't command someone to, to like you. You can't command someone to, to fall in love with you. But you can command someone to love you. And, and that means the love that Jesus is saying is, is agape love. It's, it's love without feelings or emotions. It's doing the right thing. It's a decision of the will. And this is the love that our hearts crave. We desire this unconditional love. It's our deepest longing. God is love. God is this unconditional love. And every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we celebrate this kind of divine love, which gives meaning to our lives. It's not the sentimental, emotional love that we hear so much of today, but rather it's the love that we see on the cross. And every time we celebrate the Eucharist, every time we receive the Eucharist, every time we hang around with the Eucharist, 
it rubs off on us. And we can make that decision to love people who are unlovable, people who, we, who have hurt us, the unforgivable. It's only by God's divine love that we can love as he loves. And that's why he's saying, you are my friends if you do what I command you. He's just talking spiritual logic, that if you can love as he loves, only with his grace, you are then disciples of Jesus Christ. You are friends of Jesus Christ. So we make our prayers today. We pray for all of you uh, listening in this morning. Just take a few quiet moments and just reflect on the situations in your life. We just place all those into the chalice. There's so many people that I know who are ill at this time. People who have been given very serious diagnosis. Some have very, very little time. We pray for all pregnant women, especially women who have difficult pregnancies. We pray for, for our country at this time during this pandemic. There's so much fear and uncertainty about the future. We just hand it all over to the Lord. I'd like to pray for the people of Killarney. Their ancestors worshipped at this mass rock hundreds of years ago. We pray for the faith of the people of Killarney and the people of Ireland. We pray that there'll be a renewal of the faith, that people will come to know this love of Jesus Christ again and come back and worship him in droves. We pray for all who are unemployed, depressed, lost in life. We pray that the light of Jesus Christ will shine his light in their hearts to bring healing and peace. We pray for Mark Moriarty and Sean Murphy who are studying for the priesthood. We pray for vocations for the priesthood. We pray for the Kerry Diocese especially. We pray that men and women will stand up and go forward to follow God in whatever way God is calling them. Lord, hear us. And we finally we pray for our dead. We pray for our beloved dead. We pray for all our ancestors who lost their lives because of the faith. We pray for all those who, who died for Jesus. We pray for all our ancestors, our mother's people and our father's people way back along and for all in purgatory. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And in this month of May, we entrust all our intentions to our Blessed Mother as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, I ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive his sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, 
and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to reclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to gather with Francis, our Pope, Ray, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So we stand as a family, as a community, and pray that prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We just pray for peace. A peace that only God can give. A peace that only comes after right worship. We pray for the people of Ireland that they'll put God back, number one, and then experience peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith and love and mercy, I eat your body and I drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and in body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. think of you at home um, as you invite Jesus now into your heart we pray that act of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to, to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to, to be separated from you. Amen. We pray together. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 
May God restrain him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, throw Satan down to hell, and with him all the wicked spirits who wander the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just before the final blessing, I just want to bring you over here to uh, our placard here. Uh, my Irish was never great, so we'll, we'll focus on the English. Pikewood uh, Mass Rock. This Mass Rock rests on the banks of the Woodford River. Uh, Father Tom Looney told me yesterday it's actually the Shannock River to be accurate. Uh, Mass was celebrated here during penal times during from 1690s to the uh, 1750s when Catholic Masses were forbidden and had to be celebrated in secret. Uh, Dr. Sean Quindlin, a Killarney-born priest, who had family connections nearby here, pinned this following poem. The Mass Rock Priest, 1706. Gone for good from Europe, when the smuggler's ship raised anchor, all art and music in its wake. Another mortal at home in Rome's imperial Latin, he saw Athens once and dolphins engraved in engraved the Aegean Sea. He pushed aside the North Atlantic curtain of winter's mist and went to preach in Gaelic a symphony with rural Cadiz long dead abroad among the dolmen accolades of ancient Celtic litig liturgy a Kerry pilgrim with his crucified agenda where, in woods, the Eucharist played hide-and-seek, I saw his mass rock lately under a dome, under a dome of oak. I saw his mass rock, sorry, a stream, altar cloths of ferns, red chasubles of rowan trees. Oh, thank you. But just before the final blessing, uh, just to thank you all for joining us via Zoom today. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Mark for doing the readings. Special thanks to John C. O'Shea for, for broadcasting it from me. So thank you, John. We go with God's blessing. We pray through the intercession of the Irish martyrs. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and protect you from all evil, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.